Hello and welcome to Stir Crazy Arts Class with Gerald Savine, lesson number 21. We'll be continuing the bowl of fruit. So we're going to start now actually doing the fruit. Uh, can I just quickly say that um, here, it's a rather crude bit of painting, more for speed. You can take time, bring more colour in. You can see from here that it's in fact a bit richer, but um, again, we have to press on because of, the t of time. Now then, um, I'm going to actually hold the palace on this occasion. Um, the fruit is really quite a nice warm colour. So what we've done here is we're going to use a alizarin crimson. Can you sort of see it's pretty well there? It's um, you see the colouring. So I'm going to do is start with the one at the back first. I'm just dabbing the colour down. Now we'll see how it goes. I've got this, uh, now again, I don't know if you can see that. I'm just going to get the brush point a bit thinner and I'm going to pull the colour over. Again, we haven't, unfortunately haven't got time to be too fussy I'm trying to get all the patterning that's there, but I'm just going to try and work my way around. Um, there is some underlying yellow coming through. Um, what I'm going to do here is just gradually build up the amount of colour that's there. You can see, um, the one thing I would say is the, the view from the camera that's filming us um, is slightly higher up than, than, I, than I am. Um, so the view that I'm getting will be slightly different to yours. Um, what I'm going to do is try and get the brush um, to be a little bit... Yeah, can you sort of see... Um, I've dried a lot of the paint off. Uh, I've, I've rubbed the brush on a bit of paper just to um, get it a bit drier. And it gives that sort of streaky effect that we've got with the fruit there. But then I just gradually build that up. Again, we, because of lack of time, I'm going to have to sort of take some shortcuts, as it were, and not being quite as careful and as, um, as one would like to be. But again, here I'm pulling the colour away so I don't end up with a line. Um, and again, you can see that through here, the colour um, has changed. It's quite, so it's quite a nice, strong colour. But um, I'll just a little bit more water on this. I'm going to introduce a little bit of a purple, purple lake colour, in just to try and bring the colour down a bit over here. And again, as before, bringing the colour round. It's a bit darker, for me, it's a bit darker down here. So again, that on top of the light colour. Again, always think about when you're working, always adding the darker colour to the lighter colours. In this case, although the red is quite rich and dark in itself, um, it's not as dark as the purple that it can be. Again, I'm just going to bring a bit of colour around here. A little bit more water. Just to smooth this round. And again here. OK, it's going to have to be, again, because of time, um, not as delicate as one might like it to be. But, um, just, uh, again, it just begins get the shadow a little bit darker through the top edge here as well. So uh, the two colours can work together quite nicely. So that one, so while that's drying back a bit, um, I won't touch this one yet, I'm going to go to this one here. So working way around, again here the colours um, quite thin in places, this colour coming through here. Um, there's a highlighting that I can see there, so I'm going to be very careful. Um, I'm just going to paint around here to give an edge to the fruit. But again, I'm just going to wash my brush out so it's not quite so stark. And I'm going to pull the colour around. Um, yeah, it's not quite as you, as you might be able to see there, but... Uh, <coughs> excuse me. Again here, pulling the colour round, and as it comes round to the other side, um, it gets a bit richer and a bit, and the brush too wet. But again here, we're going to pull the colour round, 
up to the dish. Now we're being careful here around the edge of the dish, but we want to avoid a line as such. So we're going to pull the colour up straight away. And again here, we gradually get more yellow into it, which you might not perhaps appreciate from where you are. I'm just taking some of the colour off the brush onto the paper. Um, so it gives that sort of um, way the colour changes, the way the fruit, the pattern of the fruit itself. Um, now we've got some highlighting there, so what I'm going to do here, I can manage to do it, anyway, I'll have a crack, is um, in a moment anyway, and we'll make it a little bit stronger here, we come over the top of the apple. And then pulling it forward, coming round. And then um, again here, by the time we get to this part, it's coming around that way. Um, and again here, it's, you know, there's a very th uh, there's not so much water in this bit here, so it's given it, made it a little bit thicker and made the colour a bit deeper. coming round here, uh, just seeing how the, um, the pattern that's being created by the streaks between the red and the yellow and the, the darker colouring, stronger colouring is going on. Now what I can do, if I wash the brush out in some clean water, um, I might be able to take out some colour here, it's not too, uh, too late. I'm gonna try and put a bit of highlighting onto that. Again, you might not see it from where you are, you might do it, I can even see a little bit here, but just imagine the light's catching it a bit more. And I'm going to bring some colour down again, through into here. And again here, the colour's going that way. And I'm going looking carefully. Again, we come back to this business of what I've always said before, you're learning to look, look for all these things, um, you've got more time than I've got, you know, I know I'm always saying that, but then I'm obviously in a bit of a hurry to get, get as much done as possible for you. Um, I'm going to pick up a little bit of the purple lake to go around here, because again it gets quite dark. Um, again, I do appreciate you might not be seeing quite the same picture that I've got, um, but then it's unfortunate because of the, the, the filming, you can't exactly see 100% of what I'm seeing. But again, we're just building up, but again, this is important bit here is taking the brush strokes with the paint on, not too wet, um, you've got more control then. Um, I know there's, they have a way of painting called wet in wet, um, where the, the colour can run and, and bleed and things, and we're on the, with someone like this one, just a little bit more control. Um, we can then just bring in a bit more pigment here to um, mix in the red and the purple out together with stronger color, pigment colouring going on. And then sort of through, going just through here and across the top of the fruit as well, it's dark, but it's, natu it's natural colour, not just the shadow that's causing that to happen. And I'm just going to try and notice, again, it's not, it's got, we've got more yellow showing here than there really is, but I'm just drying the brush off picking up the colour and pulling the colour and it just gives that gentler blend into the yellow. The yeah, yellow just gently comes in more. You get a say a feeling of the pattern of the uh, of, of the colours on the fruit. Uh, one of the wonderful things about apples you can get so many different colours and different uh, even green ones, yellow ones, uh, deep red ones, bright red ones. So that's got that one underway. Now we're going to have a crack at this one over here. Um, got about another six minutes, I think, to look at this. So what I'm going to do here is there's a bit more red in this one, so I'm going to be cheeky and bring it just a tad of um, the cadmium red pale. Um, just a little bit, just to, just give a little difference to the 
alizarin crimson. And it's amazing how the different subtleties there can be in colours. Oops. It's a little bit richer there. And I'm just going to wash the brush out, dry it down. I've got a tissue here where I'm just taking a little water out. And then I can then pull the colour. The brush is damp but not wet. So I can then pull the colour up. Can you see how it's working? Pull it down that way. Because that nice feel to that. It's a bit spotty in places as well. But, uh, and again the colour's coming up and round here. Can you see the way it's going like right? so the shape is going on? And again it gives a feeling for the shape of the of the fruit. And we're going back towards the the, the main alizarin crimson colour round here. Coming round. A little bit of the purple lake in as well because it's quite dark round this side. But um, then I'm going to come round, carefully come round. Um, there are some yellow streaks in this, as you as we saw, we put, painted down. So again, here we're going to pull the colour round and down, and then up and over. Can you see the? I don't you can see that there, where the the, f the flesh of the apple comes down, and also around this way as well. And then here. Just gradually comes this way and that way. Now I'm painting over the stalk because the stalk we use, um, we can bring that in shortly. Um, taking water, colour out, washing the brush out. And I'm going to pull the colour around here a bit. And again here, just pulling it round, pulling it round this way and that way. It gives um, some character to the shape of the, of the fruit. And again here it's going to come up, comes up and round into that dip. And here it's that little bit darker because again we've got shadow, we've got light coming from this side. So here it's a little bit dark and it's still a bit damp so it's not going to pick up quite the way I want. So I'll let that, let that settle down. But again here we're going to come round, try and pick up the streaks of the yellow, leave them in, I'm pulling that round this way. Um, again, unfortunately when I did this I um, didn't do um, didn't look carefully enough and get the fruit quite the right places. So we're going to be tucking in behind this one a bit sooner than um, we originally should have been. So there's less here um, than there would have been. But again here look at that strong shape that's been created there. So the colour is coming down and round and the same over this side. So it's really sort of made that yellowing show up quite quite strongly. Now what I'm going to do again here is I'm going to soften that edge down because it's too strong, too too big a difference. So again by more or less drying the brush out I can then pull and just blend the colours in a little bit. Um, we're going to be running out of time shortly, so um, um, I'm going to have to stop in a moment, any moment now. Um, we'll have to come back to this again, I'm afraid we'll have to do another session. So we'll, we'll see, uh, if it doesn't turn up tomorrow, it'll turn up, sorry, it's on Tuesday, it'll turn up on Friday. Okay, thank you for now. I look forward to seeing you again and I hope you're finding it 